start one of the most important things that we're going to make sure that we're going to do pause the game settings here go ahead and go to the title screen or close make sure you always do this first so another thing is that we have three saves and we have three main saves to get to our saves on steam let's just go ahead right click go to properties go to installed files browse the location go to lies of p saved saved games our account id and now we're going to see these saves here we see that we have steam auto cloud on so we're going to want to turn that off just to make sure that there is no auto save that's going to save over our saves so the three saves that we have is account options and save data one account this is only pretty much going to be used for uh, unlocking achievements it's the only reason you're going to load this our options is just the options that we have selected in the game and then our saved characters is our first save character that we play with and then the second save character that we play with so keep this in mind whenever you go to edit your save. The only thing that you're really going to want to do is edit this guy and then use the unlock all achievements on your account. So now that we know how to get our Steam saves, let's go over to PlayStation. So on PlayStation, you'll notice we have two different versions of the game. One is the PS5 version and one is the PS4 version. Now the problem is with the PS5 version, we can't copy PS5 saves. So you will need the PS4 version of the game. Now to copy our saves, you're going to go up to settings save data and game app settings save that on ps4 upload or delete from console storage and we're going to copy to a usb drive again it's the same thing here we have our account and our characters so we're going to bring over our account to unlock the plat and the characters really don't matter we can just carry over the first character for now but since i can't see it we're going to grab both now, sadly, decrypting our saves is a requirement. It's not just it's not just opening it like the PC saves. So once we find our Kusa version, here we have 36847. We see our saves. So since we're going to show an example here with the Dreamer bot and HTOS, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and zip this. And I'm going to create a new thread. Now we have three saves in here and that's not going to work too well for our bot. So what we're going to have to do is whenever save we're going to be editing first is we're going to just do it one at a time. So let's uh, go ahead and do our account first. Delete these real quick. And the first thing we're going to do is do my account ID and type in our PlayStation name after that we're going to do file to URL and then we're going to drag and drop that zip folder over here and press enter. Now that that's done, all we have to do is do decrypt and we'll see we're all decrypt folder. So we're going to just right click on that link that it gave us for uploading our file to URL and paste it in here. Now this will only work with games that have under 100 megabyte upload size. Otherwise, you'll have to make a Google Drive link for this upload. And now our save is decrypted. So we can go ahead and download this. And we're going to need to extract this. So it's we can just drop it in here. It doesn't matter. It'll only detect the Kusa folder whenever we go to put it back on the PlayStation. Now with HTOS, we will just create our thread. Do a slash decrypt. We can do a false for this. And then we can drag and drop our files in. All right, and once our saves are finished decrypting, all we have to do is download it and we can just drag and drop them in our folder. Now to get the save editor, you will need a Python in order to actually use it. But once you have a Python, all you'll need to do is go to releases and download the exe. If you're on Mac or Linux, the source code should work just fine. I'm just going to go ahead and run the main and let's turn on dark mode again. Now we can just open our saves. The saves from Steam and PlayStation as well as Xbox Game Pass are all the same. So if you find some saves, you can transfer them between across platforms. So let's go ahead and load up account one. That was just a notification letting us know that our uh, save that we loaded was a profile. And now that we have set the cheat, to do the auto platinum it'll unlock all the achievements next time we boot the game now let's go ahead and open up our character save and the first thing we'll see is alias what is this alias this is to go with our guid so every save set is going to have a different guid so if you wanted to make uh, like another playthrough you would want to keep your aliases in mind if you're editing a bunch of different characters or maybe you just want to keep your character one and two separated and maybe swap them out now we can just go ahead and 
edit some like crazy stuff over here our character level can be something like 9999 give ourselves a bunch of argo we don't need nothing uh i think the max level on here is like 11 so we'll set it to 99 and our humanity can go crazy who takes damage not us our stats check this out we just set insane stats everything's maxed out so the attribute points they max out at 100 no matter what so i do have them capped out at 100 if you go past this it makes the game very very laggy i could set these up to a 2 billion it would probably actually make you more or less invincible so i probably will do that with the next update however you almost won't really notice any other difference besides having a whole lot of health now the slots this is the items that you have so if you want to go ahead and unlock all the slots that would probably be ideal and just throw in something easy as well as our assist wheel this is whenever we hold the x or a button then we can use the arrows here we can also unlock anything that we don't have unlocked and our weapons now look we can build our own weapons check it out we only have two we found so far check this out whenever we go to inventory look we can just add everything that is missing so now when we go back to weapons still only have the two hmm. i thought i fixed that but i will we'll get a database for this built up so that way we will be able to uh, switch with everything but for now you know you could you could, you could swap out your blade hey hey you know you can make something crazy make weapons that don't exist for the currency obviously just set this stuff to max we already have a cheat for that so just go ahead and set that quick cheat to a 9999 inventory as you saw we can just add everything that's missing mostly the stuff that's missing anyway is like all the consumables materials uh, whenever you click on stuff here you can see that uh, you can actually change the count so if you wanted to change the count of your crystals you're gonna have to do that here also like materials we have you know our count is here the uh, the sharpness point i wish that did work with the items it doesn't seem like it actually does anything i was hoping that that would be the main cause of your damage but it is actually not we also have a, a cosmetics booth where you can change your cosmetics put on gear i, I need to go through and uh, grab all the uh, named locations of the slots for this as well so we can just have a drop down instead of having to copy it from something that we already have it equipped on Next is our missions. This game's really weird. This game's extremely weird with the missions. I, I don't know how else to say that. I, I've never seen a game just throw in random missions like this, but this is extremely random. Uh, if you wanted to, you can just click, press control A, and then mark all as completed, and you pretty much beat the game. That easy. Fast travel the same way. We have a all locations that'll just set all the locations that we've been to to possibly unlocked if we haven't unlocked them already we can also uh, teleport and set our coordinates for the uh, next time that we uh, spawn in again the saves should be built based on how much you actually progress through the game i tried to make it kind of slightly hard to over progress but the way that the missions are in the game it, it just made it Pretty much where you can skip straight to the end and then load it to save right back up and you'll be able to just skip everything. Now, if you're trying to copy stuff from another save, I do have this JSON editor here where you can either manually edit your, your character stats if you're a more raw person and you can copy them straight from another save if you load the comparison save. But that's pretty much everything for the Lies of P editor right now. If you have any requests or desires to see from this editor, just hit me up, let me know, leave a comment, leave a, an issue on the GitHub if you run into any issues i have seen one where somebody was having a problem loading their save but i have not got them to send me their save yet that being said let's go ahead and get our saves encrypted and back on our playstation for those using playstation saves have been edited let's go ahead and put our save back on our playstation so let's go ahead and zip our account one that we edited and again we're going to do slash file to url and drag and drop this back over here and upload it and now we're going to do encrypt and then a folder type 2 the uh, save files is the original upload our account ID is 0 and then the decrypted save folder that's going to be what we just uploaded here so we're going to copy that link and paste it here all right and now that our save is encrypted again we're going to download it and since we're already in our kusa folder here we're just going to drag and drop it and replace our files now with htos what we redo is do a slash encrypt 
upload individually is fine because this is only one save here and then include se assist we're going to do it no and hit enter so we're going to do our decrypted save so we're going to do our encrypted save files first so we're going to do our character save now so that is the save and the save dot bin see this is character one character one dot bin and then we refined our character one for our decrypted save and we'll upload that whenever our other saves are ready now you can see it says please attach a decrypted save file so here we go now that our save is done encrypting we're just going to download it again it's the ps4 folder so we're just going to replace our kusa and replace these files now on playstation what we're going to do is a copy or delete from usb drive and copy our eyes of p save back to the console and now whenever we load into the game you can see our crazy stats everything's maxed out at 100 our ergo is maxed out our hp is insane i believe there's a way to also get other oddities or these little health files i'll have to look into that though but i have not looked into it yet personally but yeah that's pretty much everything you need to know as far as the eliza pieter goes it's pretty straightforward and it's kind of future proofed as well as trying to hold your hand for those that are new